Well, I became a real active conservationist, I guess, when I was 40. Uh, several things happened in my life in the same year, and the biggest one was really my father's ill health. He had a stroke, and um, after spending three months where he was fighting for his life, uh, I came back from that, and I had to, some deep thinking to do because he was never going to be the same man again. And I, I again came to realize that what am I doing in my life? You start to evaluate things. What's the purpose of your life? So I, at, at the age of 40, I came to realize that things had to change in my life. Well, Scotland in the past was uh, a wild and rugged and beautiful land full of pine trees and oaks and and it had a whole variety of wildlife in that forest. It had wolves, bears, lynx, and everything was living in a beautiful trophic cascade. And then over the last 500 years, we've been consuming all the timber up here, whether we were using it to clear ground for sheep, whether we were using it for shipbuilding. And then the Industrial Revolution, British Empire, two world wars, all these events took their toll on our environment and, and in fact 99.5 percent of of the uk's forest has now been lost uh, it cannot get any worse than it's been the last hundred years it's like a dead zone i call it sometimes you know when you walk around the landscape and there's nothing bigger than us so we can only go really one way and i felt that it was time for change and i think Allerdale has been a, a fairly good example of that Allerdale started many years ago. In the past, this was a traditional sporting estate. So this was managed for deer killing, salmon fishing and grouse shooting. And then over the course of the last 20 years, the projects evolved, turned into massive restoration projects. So the current owner, he likes to go out walking and cycling. So he didn't value it on the sport, he valued it on the condition of the landscape and that's where the big changes come, that we're now valuing and appreciating Allerdale the way it really should be valued. Allerdale's 23,000 acres of land uh, that we call a wilderness reserve now. What we're about at Allerdale is nature recovery, trying to improve the landscape um, from tree planting, which we've planted all, almost a million trees now, peatland restoration, and just hopefully leave the place better than we found it. Rewilding for me is allowing for natural processes to take place. We stop all our intensive landscape use, taking the pressure off the land and letting it bounce back, allowing vegetation to come back, the insects, the butterflies, the moths, the birds, and hopefully eventually over time, the larger mammals. Now in some cases, you have to give it a hand. You can't just allow for natural regeneration. If there's no seed stock around, then it's not gonna regenerate. I'm a huge believer in intervention, so we need to <laughs> plant more trees. This landscape's had hundreds of years of abuse. They're not just gonna come here of their own accord. It's gonna take centuries to do that. So I'm all for putting a seed source in the landscape. Conservation is not a spectator sport, you know, it's all hands on deck, everyone has a part to play. I think people generally feel that the next generation has, you know, got this task of looking after the planet, but I believe everybody who's alive has a part to play while they're here. That's the main thing for me. Getting people involved, just making people appreciate what's there so that they all continue to look after it in the future. Uh, and now, over the last two decades, there's been a, a lot of people have visited us up here. They've come up and seen what we do, and uh, they, they take home some. And I think it's a good thing. If people get out into the wilds and get excited about it and enjoy it, they'll look after it, they'll help preserve it. It's something I think is really important that we get more people outdoors and connect more people to nature.
cycling is a great way of doing that. I'm a, I'm a cyclist, I love to bike. I'm not by any means a professional, but I love to bike. And I think that there are some trails around Allerdale and beyond that make great ways of getting people out of you know, tarmac and, and cities and, and concrete and bringing them into nature. When you get people on a bike, uh, cycling around a wild place, they can see things a lot better when you're on a bike. You see that 360 degree vision. You know, the trees, the bird song within the trees, seeing the deer on the hills, the red squirrels, I think all of these things are things that I've taken for granted and it's really important. Just being connected to nature and being out in nature, look at what it does for your mental health, you know? If you can't smile when you're outside, you know, cycling, walking or driving up the glen, you know, there's something wrong with you because it's such a beautiful part of the world. So, the 23 and a half thousand acres, the two rivers, five glens, and 11 hill locks, lots of trees, lots of peat bogs. You know, there's a huge amount of work. Um, it's a team effort here. We've all got a role to play. I think we've created a huge amount of employment. We're always doing projects, repairs, renewals, new buildings. We've got greenhouses with aquaponics. We've got a new educational building that we've done. All the local trades are getting employment from that. We've gone from three full-time members of staff to 15. In rural communities like where we live here, that's a substantial increase. And I'm a big believer that if you have property. I think you owe it to the community and the area around you to engage them and involve them. You know, we run a schools program that we've been doing for over 15 years on the reserve. And two of the lads that started on that schools program when they were 13 or 14 now work with me on the reserve. So, you know, it's a huge amount of personal achievement. As a youngster, my uncle used to work here. Didn't know what I wanted to do came here and helped for the winter and Jesus, here I am 32 years later, like, you know, and I still don't know what I really want to do, you know, but I enjoy it. I love the place. Um, over the last 10 years, I would say the bikers here has probably almost 50 fold. It's unbelievable the amount of people that are getting outdoors. We have several tracks that gravel, like about, I don't know, I guess in total 30 miles of tracks. And we've got some very big loops we do from here, which go off Aladell into our neighbours and back round again. They're not too challenging, but there's a lot of ups and downs. So, you know, looking at it now, I meet a lot of people on e-bikes, young and old. And I think what that's done for people's ability to get out into nature is really exciting. Primarily, when I bought Aladale 20 years ago, it was a view to reinstating wolves back into a large sort of wilderness reserve. Uh, wolves are an apex predator, they're a keystone species. They sit at the top of the trophic cascade. And when you take away a keystone species like the wolf, this pyramid of life collapses and everything gets out of whack. So wolves are a, a key in an ecosystem. Of course, they have to have prey, they have to have deer, they have to have wild boar. We're trying to find a better balance with the deer population and the, the habitat. We've had to reduce the deer population because we have no apex predators yet. That's our responsibility. But wolves are real ecosystem managers. Wolves make that sort of pyramid complete. So, Really, yes, the ultimate aim at Aldale is to see wolves back in an area. You know, things have changed so much in our lifetime and they're going to change hugely. I think the change is, is okay. Some people are worried that there's maybe too many people. You know, let's educate the people. Let's just behave differently, you know. The longer you spend in it and work in it, the more you realise that you can't, you can't
can't challenge nature, you can't beat it, don't fight it, work with it and enjoy it. Put a smile on and just get out there and enjoy it, you know, it doesn't matter if you're planting trees or you're out with a guest fishing or the midges are bad or the sun's shining, just enjoy it. I mean, that's important and yeah, the future's bright. I'm, you know, the important line here is let's be part of the solution and not part of the problem. Right?